listen to the Mid Ohio Rock Show. Yes. Fox and my buddy Ronnie Hughes with Stranglehold, and uh, so cool to have Red Ball Justin with us tonight. Oh yes, so so very very cool. Maybe it's morning time. What's this thing going to air? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Kyle and Jeremy joined us. Uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, gentlemen. Is it thanks, true guys. that what happens at Put in Bay stays at Put in Bay? Absolutely. Yeah. Tell us some of that, please. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. You guys get a chance, obviously, during the summer and stuff to get up there and hang out. It's just got to be total crazy with a show and stuff. Oh, yeah, it is awesome. We play at the Beer Barrel Saloon, which is the home of the world's longest bar, which is pretty awesome. The place, it's great. They treat us like rock stars. That's one place we definitely feel like rock stars. We've got our own dressing room. We each get our own hotel room. They pay us well. And, uh, of course, yeah, it, it, the party is always going on up there. So, yeah, we fit right in. And Scott Kane's there, too. I can yeah. go around with Scott Kane's here. <laughs> yeah, we usually have to guide Death him to the stage and guide him off the stage and usually guide him to his hotel room, but that never works out. He takes off running. Thank but he you, hasn't yeah. been arrested yet, so well, that's good. Thank goodness oh. Medicare kicked in and he got that wheelchair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we call him Hot Wheels. Oh, you know, let's uh, just real for a kind of a technical point, talk about the evolution of the band. I mean, what took you in the direction where you are today was when you started the band a few years ago? Uh, actually, we started Red Ball Jets uh, back in 96, and our very first gig was actually at the Den. So, uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm still I'm the only original member, So, but we've had a great lineup. Jeremy's been with us now for... Since 2002. Yes, and we had Scott. Scott uh, has been with us, I think, since 2001. We just picked up a couple of new members, and uh, they're they're awesome. So uh, Mike and Larry Fowler, Mike Fowler on bass guitar, and Larry's uh, took over for Elvin on the keyboards and the saxophone, which Elvin had a lot of health issues and stuff. And uh, Ron, our bass player, I played with him for 21 years, and uh, it was just time to call it quits for him. He was getting tired, and so I don't know. It's all that rock and roll lifestyle, I think. I wanted to ask you too, real quickly, Ronnie. You know, we got this can of Budweiser in front of us. Shameless plug. We could use some Bud money. How the heck do you guys get hooked up with the, the whole Bud uh, Bud True Music experience that you do? How did that take place? It was actually pretty cool. Um, usually, you know, we go out and uh, you know, anytime you try to go out and get sponsors or anything like that, uh, we're the ones making the call. It was pretty cool. He actually called us, Mike Berry. Uh, from Mansfield Distributing and said that Budweiser's coming on and starting this new uh, marketing idea and uh, trying to gear towards uh, the, the younger people because by the time, marketing and everything, they said that by the time you're 25, people are brand loyal. So what they wanted to do is get, get some bands out there, live music, get the young kids out there, get them brand loyal. So they jumped on board with us. They've been with us now since uh, 2002. And uh, yeah, it's been a great relationship. They give us uh, money for merchandising and things like that. And, and they definitely helped us uh, get in up at Putin Bay and everything. So yeah, it's a great relationship. You feel like you just need to, every time you're out there, set the bar a little bit higher to retain that partnership with Bud? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, they're all good guys. And uh, as long as we got Scott Kane in the band drinking Budweiser, they're never gonna go broke. So uh, yeah, he's always a- uh, Shameless plug for Scott, so he can't right. be here tonight? Yes, yes, so he, uh, I'm sure he's drinking somewhere. He's a trooper. Did Richardson County Jail come to mind? Perhaps? <laughs> no. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> So uh, tell us, you guys do a little duet thing uh, also on uh, where, where are you guys uh, at when you do that? Every Thursday, Joe's Lounge here in Mansfield. Different, yeah, different spots. Uh, the Den, Snow Trails. The band also plays the Snow Trails. Lessons with Larry, the rights and wrongs of rock and roll, with your host, Larry Pennypacker. All right, I'll see you when you get here. Bye. 
Hi, I'm Larry, and welcome to this week's life lesson. Um, if you ever go out of town with about 25 other people on a bus to go see another band, make sure you're the one that has the directions in your pocket. And also make sure that you're the one that is not the last one into the bathroom and come out and the bus is gone. Because they took off without me and came back 25 minutes later while I'm sitting at the curb with the directions. So remember, boys and girls, always know where the directions are. Always keep them in your pocket. Thanks, friends. Those were my friends that left me sitting there. Later, I gotta call for a ride. Somebody come and get me. This has been another Life Lesson with Larry. Yeah, talk about the comedy, Ronnie, when you, when you look at the, the stuff that you do, Kyle. Where did the whole idea, the whole trunk of gadgets and gizmos come from that you incorporate in the show? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I was a kid. You have a vivid yeah. imagination, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. He has a daughter that's in dance and he yeah, likes to wear her clothes. Yeah, I always say <laughs> I, I wear spandex because I can. So <laughs> I get away with it. So, uh, But no, it's pretty cool. If, if you think about it, there's a lot of great musicians around here. And it's, uh, it's just the entertainment value. And so when you go out and everybody wants to party and everything, they want to be entertained. These guys are always, I mean, they're right on it. They're playing the music awesome. It gives me a chance to get out there and and uh, just entertain people, have a good time. If I'm out going and watching a band, that's what I want to do. So have a great time, be entertained. So that's where I come up with the idea. You guys probably also enjoy just jamming with other bands. I mean, even like Ronnie, and uh, as you mentioned, I, I've been in radio in Mansfield, I don't know, 20 some years now, and it astounds me the, the amount of great musicians we have in this area, Ronnie. Oh yeah, I mean, like jam nights that Frank does, uh, everybody shows up, I mean, I've jammed with everybody, and. Pretty much everybody else is jammed with everybody else, and we just have a good time and get together and play songs that we kind of know or don't know. <laughs> it's a fantastic brotherhood. Yes, very much so. And yeah, Mansfield yes, is, is big, strong for that. Yes, yeah, so it is a big family, that's for sure. And we love Budweiser, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think we should have them play a little bit more. Well, that sounds good to me, man. I'll tell you what, uh, real quickly, we want to mention uh, these guys are going to be Snow Trails, I guess, January the 8th. Yes. coming up so uh, that's going to be a pretty cool deal but you're right Ronnie mm -hmm. take it away dudes yeah
Yeah, I printed 36 today. Wow! 36! <laughs> oh, that reminds me of some girl yeah, I Don't know. put that on tape. <laughs> hey, I'm Tommy with a fox. And Ronnie Hughes here, and we'll see you next time. All right. Have a good one, folks. Happy Peace. New Year, too, baby. Hey.